Now we're going to create a dashboard report which will contain two sub-reports which will be a gross profit and a gross margin report. Now I'm going to go through this fairly quickly because we've already covered all these sections in detail prior to this lesson. So let's create a new worksheet and in this new worksheet we're going to insert a new pivot table and it's going to connect to our data worksheet so let's do a pivot table and um, now we could go in and select a range but actually you know what I'm going to do I'm going to go ahead and um, this worksheet I'm going to go ahead and make it into a table Alright, so now we have a table. So it's very similar to a list in Excel 2003 um, in the fact that it's all contained um, kind of within one object, so that way we don't have to select the range. So let's go back here to our sheet 2 and let's go ahead and create the pivot table. So I'm going to go to insert, pivot table, and I'm going to go select our table here. It's just table one and click OK and there's our pivot table so let's go ahead and rename this because this is gross profit and we're just going to put in our customer and our revenue and our cost of goods sold. And now we're going to create a calculated field in which we subtract our cost of goods sold from our revenue. Let's so move this over here. And we're going to go to our formulas. And let's create a calculated field. I'm going to call this gross profit. and that will be our revenue minus our cost of goods sold okay alright so let's just go ahead and now that we have our gross profit in there let's go ahead and remove our revenue and cost of good cost of goods sold and remember how we do that so many different ways uncheck cost of goods sold and uncheck revenue now um, we want to format it, and remember that's under our field settings. Format the currency. Cool. Now um, I want to go ahead and aggregate this. I'm going to do it. I'm going to aggregate this into regions or group into regions. So um, now I'm going to collapse my region. Great, okay, that looks good. Now um, what we're going to do is I'm going to create a new worksheet here and I'm going to call this dashboard. 
whoops. And we're going to put that at the very beginning. Let's put our source data at the end. So we'll probably end up hiding that because we don't really need to see it. And now we're going to create a chart um, from this pivot table. So options and pivot chart. And let's see. How about we do a let's see how a pie chart looks. It's not bad. Okay, so um, let's just control X and control V. We're going to put that in our dashboard now. So let's just make sure everything's working fine. So if we were to come in here and just select North America and the Middle East, we go back to our dashboard, notice how it's updated properly. Cool. 